Hello, everyone. This is your Saturday evening KR2E.com webcast. We begin with meteorologist Jason Laney. And it's been a long time in the coming, but it looks like a wet weather pattern is on the way for our Saturday. Mostly the mountainous terrain seeing the showers as your monsoon stuff stayed generally confined to the far western reaches of New Mexico. But as we roll through the better part of the weekend and wrap up things on Sunday, looks like the monsoon will take over the western half of the state and may take in more territory next week. Thank you, Jason. A frantic call to 911 led to a SWAT standoff that lasted for hours early this morning in the northeast Albuquerque neighborhood. Bernalillo County Sheriff's deputies tell us a man shot at his girlfriend and then fled the scene. He is still on the loose tonight. Deputies say the man fired at least one shot at his girlfriend. She managed to get away from the house where she was. She made that call to 911 for help. It happened at a home on the corner of Alameda and Ventura around 4:30 this morning. After deputies arrived, it soon turned into a SWAT standoff to capture the suspect believed to be holed up inside the home with a gun. Neighbors within a two-block radius were asked to stay in their homes when this all was going down. Bullet holes were visible in two of the home's front windows along with shattered glass. The suspect is 39-year-old Juventino Cuevas. Deputies need your help to find him. Cuevas's criminal record includes a variety of charges including domestic violence and DWI. The family of a missing Albuquerque teen is on a desperate search. The 15-year-old walked away from a special needs home Monday. According to his family, he's a danger to himself and to the public. Brian Chavez left the Desert Hills Residential Treatment Facility at Coors and Sequoia August 17th. He was last seen at about 10:15 that morning in Albuquerque. His family says the teen became agitated and walked away. They're especially concerned because Brian takes medication and hasn't had any medication since Monday. He can become very violent, you know, and what we're afraid of is that he's going to hurt somebody. He can kill somebody. He throws knives. He you know, he can destroy something, you know. Well, Brian Chavez has brown eyes and brown hair. He's six foot four, about 250 pounds. He was last seen wearing a gray shirt and denim jeans. If you've seen Brian or know where he is, his family asks that you do not approach him. Instead, call 242 COPS. More news and weather updates on KRQB.com. Thanks for logging on.